Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Debian on VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see first of all how we can download the Debian ISO file. And then we will see how we can use that, that ISO file to install it on our VirtualBox. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for uh, Debian. And the first link which will appear here will be from debian.org. So we are going to click on this link. And let me just change the language to English here. And here you will be able to see this operating system and the download button. So I'm going to click on this download button. And then you can see this link, which is for Debian at the time of making this video 12.01 is the latest version. So we are going to download this ISO file. So I'm going to click on this uh, link, which is going to start the download of this ISO file. Now, one more thing to note here is when you click on this getting started button, you also have the option to install this complete installation image. Right now we have downloaded this 64 bit uh, ISO file, but it requires internet when you will try to install Debian. If you uh, download this uh, image, then it's a complete image, but the size of this image will be bigger. So it will take more time to download this file. So we have downloaded this ISO file, right? So once the ISO file is downloaded, it's going to look like this, which is Debian 12.1.0 AMD 64 net inst dot ISO file. So now we can use this file to install it using VirtualBox. So now let's go to our virtual box and let's create a new virtual machine here. So I'm going to click on this new button. So here I'm going to name my virtual machine, for example, Debian. And it's going to recognize that uh, we want to install the Debian operating system. So you can see in the type, it shows Linux and in the version it so shows 64 bit. If you don't see this option, you can select this option from the drop down menu. So select uh, Debian 64 bit here. Also, uh, if you want to change the folder, then you can uh, change the folder of this virtual machine file. So the default folder uh, path is this one. But if you want to change it, I can just click on other. And for example, I want to change it to the same folder where my ISO file is uh, present. So I'm going to change the folder of the destination virtual machine and then I'm going to move forward. So I'm going to click on next here. On the next uh, window, you will see the hardware. So you can move this uh, bar up to the end of this green limit. Same you can do for the processor. So I'm going to move the processor numbers up to the end of the green limit and then I can click on next button. Here in the virtual hard disk section, you can allocate the hard disk size which you want to allocate to your virtual machine. I generally move it up to let's say 100 GB, around 100 GB. You can also change this value from here. So I'm going to just write 100 here. So I will not check this checkbox. If you check this checkbox, uh, the 100 GB will be pre-allocated for your virtual machine, which I don't want in my case, right? Then I'm going to click on next here. And this is the overview or summary of uh, your machine, which you will be creating when you click this finish button. So if you are okay with this summary, click on finish. And once you click on finish, you can see this Debian virtual machine is created on my virtual box. Now, if you want to uh, change some settings, you can select your virtual machine and then click on settings here. So that's what we are going to do because we want to also add the ISO file to our virtual machine, which we haven't done yet. So here in the general section, uh, under advanced, what I do is I generally select shared clipboard and drag and drop as bi-directional. This will allow you to copy and paste between your host machine, which is Windows 11 in my case, and your virtual machine, which will be Debian. So I can drag and drop files between uh, host and virtual machine and also copy and paste between host and virtual machine. In the system, I have already uh, selected 
the base memory and the processors you have the chance to change this also later once you have already created your virtual machine then i will move to the storage section where i will provide the path of my iso file so here click on uh, storage and then under controllers click on empty a uh, disk icon here and then click on this uh, disk icon and then click on choose file once you click on choose file just navigate to the location where your iso file is present so my iso file is present in this debian folder so i'm going to just click on the iso file or i'm going to select my iso file from here and then click on open which is going to select my iso file which i have downloaded right at this point i can click on ok here and once you have provided the path of your iso file we can start the virtual machine so just select once again debian and then click on start here so now here i can see the first window right and here you can uh, select the graphical install then you have the option to install you have few other options so what we want to do is we want to choose the graphical install here so you can use your your up and down key in your keyboard to move to this graphical install and then press enter here once you select graphical install which is going to start the graphical installation of debian so here on the first uh, window of the installation of debian you can select the language i'm going to leave it as default which is english in my case if you want to change the language you can do it from here and then click on continue then select your location so from here you can uh, select the location uh, which is nearest to you so you have all these options here so let's say i'm going to select uh, the us here and then click on continue and then you can also configure the keyboard so in different countries people use different uh, keyboards for example i'm living in germany and i have a german keyboard so i'm going to select this german language here in a similar way you can also choose the keyboard which you are using and then click on continue here and now you can see the load installer component from the installation media step is going on now on this next window you have this uh, window which is called configure the network so here i have the host name debian i will leave it as default and then click on continue and then you have the configure the network domain name i'm going to give the domain name for example code bind here you can provide any uh, name here of your choice and then click on continue and then on the next window you can set the users and the password right so you have the password option which will be the root password and then you can retype your password so let me provide a very simple password to start with and then i'm going to retype that password and then click on continue now on the next page you can give the full name of the user in my case i'm going to give the name code bind here in your case you can give any name here of your choice right and then click on continue and then on the next window once again this name is present so i don't want to change anything here and then click on continue and then you have once again the chance to uh, provide the password for this user which we have created which is code bind in my case so let me give the password to uh, this user so we have provided the password for the root user and we have provided the password for the user which we have created in my case it's code bind right and then click on continue now on the next window based on the country and language you have selected in the previous steps you will see you have the uh, option to select the time zone right i will leave it as default because i have chosen us that's why I, I see all these time zones here and then i'm going to click on continue here and now you have the next step which is partition disks so at this point i leave it as default and the default option here is guided use entire disk and then click on continue 
And at this point, you just need to verify this uh, space and then click on continue. And once again, I'm going to click on continue here. And this will be the summary of your selection. So once again, I'm going to click on continue. Now on the next window, you have this question, which is write the changes to the disk. I'm going to select this yes radio button and then click on continue. And now the installation of the base system will start. So just wait for a few seconds until this installation is finished. So here uh, it says configure the package manager. Here I'm going to select no and then click on continue. And then you have the option to configure the package manager, right? So you can choose the package manager of the country, which is nearer from your location. I'm going to just choose Germany from here and then click on continue. And then you have the option to select the mirror. So I will choose the default mirror, which is dev.debian.org, but you can also choose other locations from here and then click on continue. And on this next uh, window, I will leave it as blank and then click on continue. And now at this point, I will wait for a few seconds once again. Now on the next window, uh, it asks me this question, which is related to the participation. So it asks uh, participate in the package usage survey. I don't want to do that. So I will select no and then click on continue. And now I have the option to select the software, right? So you have different uh, graphical user interfaces you can select from. So I will select the genome and Debian desktop environment here. But if you like other uh, environment, you can choose from this list, right? So as I said, I will leave it as default, which is Debian desktop environment and genome. If you want any other environment, you can choose it from here and then click on continue. Now in between, you will have the option to install the Grub boot loader. I will select yes and then click on continue. And then you have uh, enter device manually and you have this. So I'm going to select the second option here and then click on continue. So now at this point, the installation is finished. I can see this message, finish the installation. And then it says, please choose continue to reboot. So I'm going to click on continue, which is going to uh, reboot this Debian operating system. You can see it's rebooting. And now once the system is rebooted, I don't need to do anything. Uh, just wait for a few seconds. And after a few seconds of wait, I can see this window with my username, which I have provided at the time of installation. And let me provide the password, which I have given at the time of installation. And then I'm going to press enter, which is going to log me inside my newly installed Debian operating system. So now you can see I'm inside my uh, Debian operating system and my operating system is running. But there is one problem here. And that is, you can see when I resize the virtual box window, my Debian desktop size doesn't change according to the size of the window, right? So even though my uh, Debian operating system is installed. The window here I can see is still not resizing according to the size of my uh, Windows operating system, for example, right? So to solve this problem, what we need to do is we need to run these two commands, which is uh, sudo apt update and sudo apt install DKMS build essentials and Linux headers. So I'm going to uh, just open the terminal first of all. So search for uh, terminal here and then open your terminal. And here you can uh, give these commands. So the first command is sudo apt update and then uh, press enter. Give your Debian's password. So now first of all, you will see this kind of uh, error which says code bind is not a sudo file, right? This is because uh, we need to add code bind into the list of sudoers or we need to provide all the privileges to our new users, which uh, we have created, right? The root user have all the privileges, but we have logged into our operating system as the new user. In my case, it's code bind. So to solve this, just write su 
space uh, hyphen and then press enter and, and then give your root password which you have provided at the time of installation. So I'm going to provide that and then press enter and you can see now I am logged in as a root user, right? Earlier I was logged in as a code bind user and now I have been logged in as a root user, right? Here what we need to do is I need to give this command vi sudo and then press enter which is going to open this kind of file and here when you will scroll down a little you will see a list of uh, all the privileges to the root user. You can see root user have all the privileges here. So here what I will do is I will just select this line, right click and copy this line and on the next line I'm going to paste this. So right click and paste the same line and you can see we are logged in as a code bind user, right? So we want to give the privileges to code bind user in my case. Whatever you see here before at the rate Debian, you need to provide the same name instead of root on the next line. So here I'm going to just give uh, code bind here. Once you have given all the privileges to the user you have created, just press control O and then press enter and then control X to exit out. To verify that your changes are saved, once again give vi sudo command and once again go to the same location. And if you see your uh, new user have all the privileges line, then your changes are saved. So press control X once again. So now I'm going to exit out of this uh, root user. So now I'm uh, logged in as this code bind user once again, right? And now I'm going to give the same command, which is sudo apt update and then press enter and then give my Debian's password and then press enter. And it's going to start the update this time. And you can see everything is up to date. Now we are going to give the second command. And once I have given that command, I'm going to press enter here and wait for the installation. So once this command is finished, uh, what I generally do is I generally try, try to mount the VirtualBox guest editions image using this devices option and see if uh, that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, devices here and then click on insert guest editions CD image. And once I click on that option, I go to activities and then search for uh, files here. So just search for files and you will see this uh, is mounted. So I'm going to click on this image and then click on run software and then click on run, which is going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to provide that and it's going to just install this VirtualBox guest editions uh, tool. So once again, wait for some time until this command is finished. And uh, once you see this kind of message, that means the virtual uh, box guest editions has been ins installed successfully. So I'm going to just press enter here, which is going to close this window. And at this point, I just need to restart my Debian operating system. So just uh, click on this top uh, bar here and then click on this uh, power icon here and then click on power off and then click on power off, which is going to power off my Debian operating system. And once that's finished, I'm going to restart my Debian operating system once again. So select Debian, start it. And now it's being started. So just wait for some time until you see the login window. And now I'm going to give my password. And once I'm logged in and when I try to resize the Debian window, you will see that it's going to resize according to the size of my uh, desktop and that is what I wanted. So now I can easily use uh, this uh, Debian operating system on my uh, Windows host using VirtualBox. So that's how you can install Debian on VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.